finally. Yeah, How you doing? Yeah, yeah, good to see you, man. I've got to ask you, man. Like, obviously, you earned money in the bank. You've got you've had quite a career behind you. Do you consider not only the LWO's legacy, but your own legacy as a performer? And what does legacy mean to you? Absolutely, yes. Number one, I'm happy to be part of this new LWO situation. But if you see my career, I've always tried to put in front of what I do who I am, where I come from, and what I'm about. And that is Lucha Libre tradition. Uh, I'm Mexican, born and raised, second generation luchador, son of El Fantasma. I worked really hard to, to jump from Mexico and do the crossover to the American industry. But when I did it, it was not like, oh, you're going to be this and you're going to act like that and we're going to forget about who you are and use that pretty face of yours to do something else. No. Something I'm, I'm proud of is that I've always put in front of me that Lucha Libre. Whatever I do, it's got to have Lucha Libre on it because that's who I am and that's how I'm going to inspire people and that's how I'm going to capture the minds and the hearts of everyone else because what better way to succeed at anything than being yourself, your true self, yeah. whatever it is. And hey, if you fail, it's fine. At least you never lost who you are. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I believe LWO turned into what it is right now because of that. It became, it became a novelty thing at WrestleMania. He had LWO is bad, this and that. But then we ran with it, we grabbed it and ran with it because it affords us, me, Joaquin Wilde, Cruz del Toro, Selena Vega, Rey Mysterio. It affords us the opportunity to represent a lot of people. Yes, Latinos. But if you have will, desire, grit, determination, if you're inspired to wake up every single day to go out there and succeed in whatever it is that you do, well, guess what? The LW is for you too. I love that, man. And, love that. and you have people buying our shirts left, right, and center. From all over, yeah, from everywhere. Why? Because it's a novelty item? No, because they feel like they, they're wearing something that, that says something about them. Yes, yes, it's a beautiful thing. And I wonder, you know, in that spirit, have you ever struggled with confidence? You seem like such a confident performer. You're always out there and you're inspiring people. Have you ever struggled with, uh, with confidence, Santos? And what did you do to overcome that, if that's ever been a part of your life and you've had time about to face that struggle with confidence? I would be remiss if I told you that I didn't or I haven't. But my dad would always say to me, because growing up, you want to you wanna dress cool, you want to say the cool words, you want to, let me, let me answer this, you want to say the cool words, you want to act cool, and sometimes you lose yourself in doing so, because you want to you please everyone. My, my dad would always tell me, be yourself, just be yourself, be confident in who you are, and trust me, at the end of the day, you will feel good. And guess what? He was right. That's what I do every single day. And that's why this isn't confidence. This is me. Uh, I, I would advise everyone, just be yourself. And you will find yourselves eventually just, just floating around people, mingling in a room because you're representing the most important person in your life, and that is yourself. Absolutely, Santos, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you the pleasure so is much, all mate. Mine. And I love your hair, man. Thank you, man. <laughs>